In this lesson, we're going to write a program that's just a little bit more interesting. We're going to program the NXT to draw a picture of some sleepy eyes on the screen and then say goodnight. To make sure you don't run into any unintended problems, I recommend that before you do any of this, you quit from the NXT programming software, if you're currently running it, and also turn off your NXT. In a future lesson, I'll show you what can go wrong and how to deal with it, but right now I just want to focus on the programming. Okay, so I just started up my software, and I'm going to turn on the robot. And I already have the robot plugged into the computer, so I'm good. And we want to write our program that shows some sleepy eyes and says goodnight, so why don't we call it sleepy night, and I'll say go. Okay, here we go. Okay, um, the system always runs blocks from left to right on the sequence beam, so since the first thing we want to do is display some sleepy eyes, we'll grab a display block. I'm going to click and drag and drop that on start. And if you look at the configuration panel for a display block, um, you can see that there's a bunch of different pictures that you can choose from. There's Smile 1, Smile 2, Smile 3. There's a bunch of things in here. There's a stop sign. Um, I'm going to look for Tired 01, which happens to be, there we go, some sleepy eyes. Okay. And now I want to say good night. And you guys know I'm going to have to grab a sound block, click on that, and drag it over. And I need to put it on the sequence beam right after the display block. And if you look in here, there isn't actually a good night blurb. It doesn't say good night anywhere. But there is one for good, and there's another one down there for night. So we're just going to do it in two separate blocks. So my first sound block is going to say good. And then I need to grab another sound block and drag that over. And let's say night. So let's just review. The program's going to draw some sleepy eyes, then say good, then say night. Perfect. Okay, we're going to download this. Before we download, let's just save. Save it in the default location, in the standard location. Okay, and let's download it to the NXT. we're back up at My Files, so I'm going to push the orange button to select that, and Software Files, push the orange button, and if you check, it does indeed say Sleepy Night, so I'll push the orange button, and we'll run it. Pretty cool, huh? In order to avoid some common problems that crop up when beginners start writing robot programs, I need to ask you to do two things that I'm not going to fully explain right now. Be assured that we'll cover both of them in detail very soon, at which point it'll be clear what problems I'm avoiding, why they happen, and how to fix them. But for now, I need you to just bear with me and trust me that this will help you in the long run. First, I'm going to ask you to put a couple of limits on your use of image blocks. Just for now, don't end a program with an image block. Also, just for now, don't put two or more image blocks right next to each other in your program. In an upcoming lesson, I'll explain what's going on, and you'll be able to do anything you want with image blocks. But for now, if you run a program that includes either of these, you may find the robot's behavior very confusing. The other thing I'd like to ask you to do is to turn your robot off and then on again every time you're about to download a new program. You certainly won't have to do this forever, but if you do this for now, it'll avoid some potential problems. I'm also going to ask you to do something that can sometimes be incredibly hard for me to do when I'm starting out with a new robot, which is to avoid panicking if your program doesn't seem to be working. If your robot program isn't working and you haven't put an image block at the very end or put two of them together, then I want you to do the following. First, confirm that all of your blocks are placed on your main sequence beam. Remember that only blocks that are sitting on that beam are run. Then look closely at your code. Look at each block one at a time and make sure it's set to do what you think it should. 
If your code looks good, then try turning off your robot, turning it on again, and then downloading the program again. See if it works this time. If your program still doesn't work, start a new program and try rewriting it from scratch. Sometimes it looks as though the blocks are on the sequence beam when they really aren't. Remember to turn your robot off and then on before you download that new program. Finally, if you're still having trouble, remember that you can always post questions on our forum or contact LEGO support.